Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another how to video using Rollmaster Classic on Fantasy Grounds Classic with the new updated rule set by Dakadin. God bless him. Today's video is about leveling up. So, first of all, really, if you haven't seen the character generation videos, the one called Fighter and the one called Magician, I highly recommend you watch those because what we're doing here is a subset of that. Got two characters here. We've got one, Bob, a non spell user, and Virula, a spell user. Right, let's level them up. So let's do Bob first. He's level one, got enough XP now, so let's do him level two. Let's do stat gains first. So the little magnifying glass where it says stats, click on that, go to stat gain, roll all, click on apply, done. On to skills. All the skills here, skill dev, add all primary, add all secondary, if the skill's there, don't worry, it's not going to duplicate them. Now, remember, I did mention this in one of the character generation videos. If you want to duplicate a skill, so for example, we've got here adrenal strength, maybe you want to have a go at adrenal speed. So, all I'm going to do, if I want to clone a skill, click the red thing, hold it, drag it, let go again. And you've got a double of that skill. One thing to note is the primary DPs have gone up. Look, so we've got three remaining minus one secondary school so I actually got a total dps of two so we gained two dps right i'm going to do the skill development now i'm going to speed it up because i know i'll take too long so i'll see you in a second okay if after bat i've got those i'm just going to now remove the untrained primary and the secondary and then add the new ranks as you see in the chat there gives you another reader again if it has gm if you want to be able to check this to make sure everything's okay got all bob stat gains all the skill gains Closing that down, level bonuses, just update those. So the threes become sixes, and the ones become twos. Didn't add any new combat, just improved existing combat skills. Just check the combat tab, make sure they've updated. So let's check the hand axe. That's now 61, 71, because remember we've got the plus 10 item. That'll also update on the combat tracker. Just check that, combat tracker, top right. Click on the swords. Yeah, hand axe now 71, so that's all updated. By the way, I've got up to up and coming video on the combat tracker, all the ins and outs, for example, all the movements, etc. But that's for another day. No spells to gain, no extra combats, as we said, so really, that's him done. Let's get rid of him. Now let's go on to Virula. A little bit harder for Virula. She's level two. Now look here, power points four, level two, power points eight. So it does that automatically once you put the level up. Again, stat gain, so into stats, stat gain, roll all, apply, close, close, in the chats, all in there. I'm not doing this, by the way, on the player version, because there's no difference. There's no, it's just it, You'll see exactly the same thing if you're a player or the GM. On to skills for her, skill dev, as usual. And add all the primary, add all the secondary. I'm going to add a spell list, probably. I think I'll do light law. Speed the video up. See you in a second. Okay, I've done all those around. We'll remove the untrained, remove the secondary, add the new ranks, close it down. Level bonuses. Four. Four. Got directed spells now. Ow. Now, I've just realized I've messed up, so I haven't done the directed spell for light law, because I suppose as they're learning light law, they might be practicing this. So with that then in, in mind, I'm going to go back to skill dev, go to the primary skill table, find directed spells, just drag it into the actual skill on the character sheet, close that down, close this down. I'm going to actually change it all from here. So I'm going to take two off for light law, which were two DPs, and add one in for directed spell, which is two DP. So that balances all that out now. Right, let's have a little look at her stats, remind myself. So she has got plus 20 empathy. Looking at the skill here for light law, that's a 80 in there, isn't it? We can work that out instead of doing manual, we can just go to here. So really, it's a 100% chance of learning this. Light law is now, it's a 100 chance. Double click. Learned it and then some. What a waste of DPs, but never mind. So you now got light law, so I know that now to base. to level 10. Which means then we've got shock bolt. Let's rename the Director Spells skill then. Um, depends how you play this. You could use Director Spells for all Director Spells. It'll be a bit meaner and say, oh, actually, no, this is for um, particular Bolt Spells, Elemental Spells. 
just say shock bolt here. So now I've got shock bolts. That's the new combat attack, isn't it? So let's go to the combat tab. Let's go to spell attacks. It's a shock bolt. So where is that? There it is. Shock bolt. Drag it, drop it in, close it, click on it. What's the associated skill? Well, I called it shock bolt. So let's find that associated skill. Shock bolt. Close it down. 25 OB. Let's just double check. Shock bolt. 25 OB. But remember, they get three per level uh, magicians. So it's actually an extra six onto it. So they've got 31. Just double check it's updated. 31. Let's just check the combat tracker and make sure that's in there. Virula, swords, shock bolt, 31. Yeah, it's in there. Good. Fire away. Yeah, good. Done. Cheers. See you next video.